Well, it's a very early morning, brothers, sisters, friends, and foes. It's Bill from Agape on the streets. It's 5 a.m., and I'm up very early this morning. I did have a hard time sleeping last night. Um, the night before was actually really good, and the same conditions last night was pretty tough. I didn't sleep much. I got very sore, probably because all the work I did the day before, and it kind of caught up with me. Um, but it's 5 a.m. I'm over at Love's Truck Stop. I'm going to get me a cup of coffee. And the plan is today to work in storage to get things resituated so I can function. And I'm going to grab, I've got a really nice, uh, one of the zero gravity uh, outdoor chairs I'm going to grab so I can take a nap probably midday today. Uh, thank God that, you know, we got good security at the storage and stuff. So I can actually just leave stuff out there. All the guys know me. Uh, and then tomorrow... If all goes well, I'll be going to the ADOT and getting my driver's license. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of studying today and stuff, and I'm just going to pray that this thing uh, that this thing works out. So uh, keep praying, keep praying. God is um, telling me to keep moving here, so I'm I'm going to keep moving. 5 a.m. Love's truck stop in Quartzsite. It's a little breezy out. But it looks like it's going to be a good day. So I met a guy yesterday uh, who lives in a little rig that he built. And he does online work. And it sounds like he makes pretty good money. He's uh, doing from about fifteen to about $2,500 a month. Which in this lifestyle can sustain you pretty well. Um, boy, $2,500 a month. If I had that, um, I could do that trailer like nothing. It'd be done and... I'd be living like a king, I tell you. But uh, it, it's something I've been praying about. I don't have great internet here, but he just had Starlink on his rig. And if I could make that kind of money, it would justify paying for something like that. And I just put Starlink on the trailer. And um, I go to work because something like that would be perfect. I could do it, you know, whenever I have extra time. And that's in my condition with my health and stuff. Uh, it just would make sense. So if any of you know of any of those things, you know, the uh, online work, stuff like that, please give me a holler. That's, you know, I'm a tech guy and stuff. Maybe I'm a little old school, but I, I haven't really been in touch with a lot of this the last year. So I'm, I'm a little out of the loop with this stuff, and I'm looking for options here. Um, you know, if I can get online and I can uh, make some money online, um, that just would work perfect. I could do that in between building up the trailer. When the trailer's done, I could take that with me. Uh, prayers right now is to head up to Williams. Uh, my friend Bob is up there. I want to go somewhere where I know some people uh, and, and start putting together some fellowship and, and stuff, you know, a little group that, you know, we can get together. It's real important to me, and I think that's uh, important to the Lord that that has what he wants for us. Another thing I'm going to be doing today as I go through storage is I'm going to be setting a lot of stuff aside. I'm going to start selling quite a bit of stuff. Um, I have quite a bit of stuff in there that was for some ministry focus. Uh, there's some stuff in there that was uh, for hopefully we're going to get property, Josie and I, and, and uh, we, we had some uh, ideas of what we would need. So I'm going to be putting a lot of that up for sale. I'm realizing a lot of that I don't need, and I'm just paying storage on it. Unfortunately, I'm going to need us, the Josie and Star stuff in there as well as my own, uh, you know, personal stuff. And, uh, until I am situated a little better, uh, that's probably the best place for it to be. So, uh, you know, reverb is probably going to be one of the things that would do a lot of local stuff on Facebook. Uh, if you guys know of anything in that regards, let me know. Uh, I used to be a big eBay guy. In fact, I used to do over 100000 a year on eBay way back in the day. And I had some bad experiences on there, people getting stuff and not sending it back and getting refunds and not getting the support from eBay or PayPal I thought I should have, and uh, I never went back. Maybe I need to try that again, I don't know, but uh, I'm open for suggestions. I'd love to hear from you guys anyways, but if you got suggestions as far as, you know, work, especially online work, uh, online sales, anything like that, or anything else that uh, seems like it would fit this situation that I could start, you know, getting back on my feet I would love to hear from you, and always keep in mind, I've also need, I need medication. Uh, short of sending someone down to Mexico uh, to, you know, illegally pull it across the border, I'd sure like to find some options. Uh, we're in a very strange situation here where I've been prescribed medication, 
It's nothing that gets you high or anything, you know. It's stuff for my thyroid, for my blood pressure. Yet I can't get it unless I spend a bunch of money going back to see a doctor every month. And um, this, these prescriptions haven't changed for a very long time. In fact, here in Arizona, I can go get a, uh, a, a blood lab and I can, you know, show that my levels are fine. It's only about 35 bucks. Uh, but I still need a doctor to prescribe it. That's been my problem. So uh, anybody knows anything along those lines, I'd love to hear from you. I used to have a thing on my phone last year called K-Health. And I just send them pictures of the labs and they'd prescribe. And I go over to Walmart and pick it up. And unfortunately now they don't do that anymore. They're, they're not prescribing the same way. There's a bunch of legal mumbo jumbo that's happened. Uh, so that's a scary one for me because uh, now I'm at where I'm running out of some of my meds and that's going to start having a, a pretty uh, serious effect. If you'd like to get a hold of me, please go to our website, agapeonthestreets.com. And if you scroll down the page there, the best option is to go to our Telegram discussion page. I check that all the time. That comes up on my phone. You can get a hold of me there. If you don't want to download Telegram and become a member you can go down even further there and you'll see a phone number. That is text only, but if you text me at that phone number, usually within a day or two, I can get back to you. Uh, just give me some contact information there if you can and uh, let me know who you are and what it's regarding. Um, and I, I'd love to talk to you. Love to talk to you. Anything that you got, if you got work for me, uh, let's discuss it. Doesn't matter where you're located. Let's see what doors God opens. Um, I'm all about moving forward here, getting myself back together. I don't want to sit here and just be a burden on people. I got to start moving forward and, and uh, it's going to take some resources because I don't want this to just kind of keep relapsing, you know, and I work and I run out of money and I work and I have more bad health. So I got to keep going. And with a little help here and there, I think this could uh, go into some great places. I'm really excited to get uh, stabilized and get back on the streets uh, where I can start reaching people. And uh, with the right situation, uh, this, this is just uh, an amazing, powerful ministry. And I, I think God will really be glorified. I think people will be really blessed. Uh, so I'd love to hear from you. Please get a hold of me.